Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Time Architect and welcome to the first episode of my Minecraft Survival Let's Play series. So, a little explanation, you're probably looking at me and I'm in iron armor and I'm carrying around iron tools. Well, funny story, so I have been attempting to record the first episode for two days now and for whatever reason I seem to keep making the same mistake of hitting record and then as soon as I go into full screen mode, it brings up the pause screen. Even though I'm playing the game, all it's showing is the pause screen on the recording. So unfortunately, all of that footage is useless. So today, we're just going to kick things off right away and do a little bit of adventuring. I've already pre-made a boat here, and I believe, I think there might be something over in this river that we want to go check out. So here is the seed for any of you guys that want to play along with me. And here are the coordinates for where about we are for that village. There it is. Got ourselves a little drowned monument. I'm going to jump in here and try to get this treasure map right quick. Hopefully without dying. Why not? Let's get an auto shell over that. I'll take that as a win. Out of here. Boom, gold. Pro skills right there. So we should. There it is. Very treasure map. Down, there it is. Sweet. Alright. If I can Minecraft this. Go. Come on, diamonds. Yes! Diamonds. Alright, so you'll see that I didn't get that advanced me because I already did a little bit of mining in these attempted previous episodes and I was able to get diamonds. I think I only got five of them, so that's why you weren't seeing that advancement there. Well, this is our first ever buried treasure though, so let's keep this map. We'll post it up somewhere. Maybe once we get ourselves some item frames. Ooh, turtle. I have to get uh, some shears and breed you. I'm sure we'll have a use for your wonderful eggs in the future. So how are you all doing today? I'm doing fantastic. This is a nice overcast day here in the, the Pacific Northwest. And I'm just enjoying a nice day of recording some Minecraft. fully explore this map so we don't have any weird glitch spots when we put it in an item frame. Let's see what we got in here. Are we feeling lucky? We're gonna get another treasure map. Hopefully there's no trident drowns in here. I got trapped on it. Get that all out of here. There we go. Okay. Well, that was relatively easy. And yes, let me give myself a little bit safer location here. Actually, let's check out this other buried treasure map. See if it's the same thing. Oh, it's not. Oh, we have different treasure. That's quite close to the shore. Alright, so using that same logic, looks like we 
going to be more right around here. This one might be a little bit more difficult to get, ladies and gentlemen, without any of our late game enchants. I get for being so lucky with the first one. Oh. No respiration. Alright, chance. We're just rocking the standard iron armor here. Alright, well, I'll tell you what. I will go ahead and cut to when I find this thing. Whoa! Where did you come from? Whoa! Whoa! Get, get away! Get away from me! I broke all my tools trying to dig out this hole. I cannot defend myself. Go away! Go away! Alright, running away. Running away. What do we do? Um, um, uh, boat. Yes. All right. There we go. Perfect. All right, folks. I just had to head back to the village and sleep the night away. That was just getting a little too tight for, for comfort. All right. We're going to go back and let's see here. Uh, what was I doing? What was I doing? I need, I need to make another tool. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, tool. X. Perfect. All right. One and two. And let's see, anything else? Nope. All right, right back out at it. Uh -huh. Hello, Mr. Wandering Trader. So I am running with the Vanilla Tweaks data pack that allows us to have the mini blocks just to add more decorative uh, looks to our builds. So if you're wondering, that's what that's from. Goodbye. Huh? Oh, oh, sneaky. You know what? We'll let you live. You dodged the headsman's axe. I'll let you live for now. Huh? Looks like it should be right here. There it is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we have in fact found it. What do we got? A whole lot of useful stuff here. Yes, I know breaking the chest would probably have been faster. We can do that now. So that way the next treasure map will not bring us back here. We'll actually go ahead. There we go. Try that out. Yeah, I'd say that took a little bit of time. Alright. Is there anything that I can trade for you? Let's see here. I can make that. I don't think I have anything on my person to trade with you. I do not. But I can. Give me one second. Take eight mini blocks, please. Polished diorite. We do not have enough for that. Lapis. No. I don't think we need any of this. Got gravel? No gravel. Surely I have to find some gravel around here somewhere. Alright guys, I will get back with you when we're back at our starter village. Okay, we are back. We're just going to go ahead and empty out our inventory right quick. Let's see here, get rid of all of this stuff. Just toss it all in here. All of it, all of it. Wait, not you. Get back here. Alright guys, I promise I will get myself more organized in the near future. I do not live like this. I assure you, I am better than this. There was definitely no wandering traders harmed in the making of this scene. Since we're already over here by the dark... Oak Forest, we might as well grab ourselves a couple logs and potentially a couple saplings so we don't have to travel as far to grow some dark oak wood. Alright folks, while we're uh, running this fast forwarded footage of me just cutting down dark oak trees, I'm just going to go ahead and let you know that I plan on pre-recording pre excuse me, uh, the first few episodes just because I have no idea what my schedule is going to 
hold in the future. As of right now, the only times I really have to record is on weekends and after work. So I just wanted to make sure that I got the first few, excuse me, words are hard, first few episodes out and recorded and edited. So that way I don't have to have you guys waiting around while I try to get all of this put together and edited for you guys. So that's is that. And now it looks like we're going to go ahead and cut to when I get back to the village. All right, folks, we are back at the village. We have slept the night away. We have safely stored all of our dark oak logs and our saplings. And we are just going to go ahead and head back on over to the boat. And I tell you what, I will meet you guys back out when we're out in the ocean. By the power of video editing magic, we are back out in the ocean. We're in our boat. And I thought I'd take this quick little time to talk to you guys. Uh, this episode is going to be more of an uh, adventuring style. We're not going to get much building done today because we just need to get ourselves the baseline blocks and such. So let's just go ahead and uh, oh, run ourselves short. Haha, <laughs> I can I can boat skills. Boat skills, it's a thing. I got it. I have them. Anyways, we're going to go out. We're going to explore. We're going to see what we can get. All right, guys, I will get right back to you once I have some updates for you. All right, guys, no new biomes found yet, but look what I found. Found ourselves a nice little shipwreck. Why not? It's on our way. Let's just go ahead and take a little peek inside, see what we can find. See if we can find ourselves more treasure chests, maybe, maybe. Oh, mending pants, my favorite. A few other things that we probably don't actually need, but we'll go ahead and grab anyways. All right, we got another chest around here somewhere. Come on, give me a treasure chest. Come on, treasure map. All right, folks, well, that looks like that's all that is. We shall continue on. So. I in case I didn't already let you guys know, this is not just a random seed that I picked. The seed that you saw there earlier in the description, I did actually find that on the Mine Atlas page. And the reason that I picked this map was because it had a large ocean surrounded by a lot of the different biomes. I wanted to make sure that everything was semi-close to what I wanted to build, as well as that way I can create myself a bit of a road network to try to connect them all up. Because my goal is to have everything be accessible via the ground. I don't want to have to make, you know, big old huge long nether tunnels or I don't want to have to spend hundreds of rockets flying from point A to point B. I just want to be able to cruise around on the ground, soak in a little bit of landscape. And what do we have here? Hello? Another little chest. Don't mind if I do. If you're going to put it out there, I might as well grab it. All right, what we got, what we got? Some very useful mossy bricks. I'm sure we're gonna need a lot of those in the future. Maybe we'll grab ourselves some gravel just in case we find another wandering trader who I definitely did not kill. He just fell on my ax twice. Yeah, I'm not violent. You're violent. But like I was saying, I want to have a ground network that we can then challenge ourselves to create different environments. Let's push the boundaries. Let's terraform along these paths. Let's give ourselves something very visual to look at when we're going from each city or each build. As well as, I don't want to just stick within the medieval style. I want to push my limits. I want to try to cover as many different build styles in as many different biomes as possible. So they may not all be these big, huge, ginormous cities, but they might just be a biome specific build. You know, maybe we'll put a, a deserted island in a mesa, or maybe we'll build ourselves a nice modern futuristic skylines in a, you know, broken mountains or something. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments what you guys think I should build. What's your inspiration to build? It looks like we got ourselves some more poisonous potatoes. Well, I guess we won't be short on those anytime soon. We got anything else in here? Oh, I see a chest. This should be a treasure chest or treasure map chest, excuse me. Nope. Oh, but more diamonds. Don't mind if I do. All right. There should be one more 
chest down below deck, and that should be the one containing the treasure map. Get ourselves a nice little breath, breath of air, because we are not a fish and we can't breathe underwater. There we are, buried treasure map. Lots of paper, we're gonna need that. Okay, upward and outward. Well, I don't know if we're gonna be able to have enough inventory space to get all this stuff today. We might just have to call this an exploring episode and call it a day. All right, so we need to go southwest. If I'm reading that correctly. South. Well, let's, let's get ourselves all figured out here. Yeah, southwest. Excuse me, Mr. Squid. I'm rowing here. There we go. We can start to see a little bit of... Yep, okay. So we are getting close. And I see another ship over there. Yeah, I think that this episode is just going to be a bit of an exploring episode, guys. I'm okay with that. I'm going to try to vary up. You know, we might have some grindy episodes. We might have some buildy episodes. And we might just have some exploring episodes. Let me know in the comments what you guys would prefer to see. Like I said, tell me what you want to build, and tell me what kind of episode style do you guys want to see. Oh, wow, looks like we're right here. Uh, let's dig right here. Nothing? This thing should be right here. I didn't think, oh, there it is. So they don't typically have them buried in the ground. They're normally only under sand. Another heart of the sea. More cooked salmon. More iron. I will take all of that. Thank you. And of course, destroy the chest. We are out of here. Uh oh, got our boat stuck. All right, how much inventory space do we have left? None. We can get rid of these poisonous potatoes. Let's drink ourselves some suspicious stew and see what happens. Looks like we can't do that sitting. What? Can we? Oh, it's because we're not hungry. Uh. <laughs> Alright, well, let's go check out this shipwreck right quick, and then we will probably call that an episode, guys. There's the sun setting, and we know what that's going to mean. Oh, look at that generation. Those broken extreme hills. Oh, beautiful. I can just see, like, some, like, super ruined castle, or, like, a, some sort of big dungeon prison something sitting up there oh that would be so cool get out of the boat all right okay oh another treasure map and a clock don't mind if i do let's see we do not need rotten flesh we do need a clock so we know that it's nighttime okay well where does this one lead us okay well i suppose let's check the rest of the ship first let's not get ahead of ourselves or drowned. None of those things are going to end well for us here. All right, what do we got? More paper, potatoes. I will take all of that. Anything else we need? I guess we do have some room for some rotten flesh. Quickly, quickly before we drown, and we're stuck. All right. Come on. You can do it. There we go. So we got that chest. Got that one. Should be, yep, one more. Quick breath of air before we jump in there. <laughs> okay. I will take all of that. Except I don't have room for it. So let's see, I don't need the gravel. Do need that. All right. We are out of here. Let me get back on my boat for my outro here. Alright guys, well, that's going to go ahead and conclude it for this episode. Probably between episodes, I will go ahead and find myself a... Uh, oh, there's some spruce right there. Try to get some jungle wood, maybe some acacia. I believe that's all we should be able to need. Alright guys, well, if you happen to like this episode, go ahead, hit that like button. And it would help me out if you subscribe and we can see where this takes us. Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one.